Just like babies that need company for healthy growth and development, trees also need the presence of competitors for growth. The competition for nutrients in the soil, light and hair by nearby trees is necessary to facilitate faster growth. But this competition threatens the health of the trees when the trees grow bigger, especially after about three years. It is then that the tree farmer will have to selectively or systematically mark and cut out some trees in a process called thinning. But farmers have to be cautious while choosing which trees to cut so that they get the right spacing between the trees. Someone who is, in, who is independent he has to go, he has to come and do uh, thinning control. Uh, by thinning control, we are checking how accurate your marking was. At times, you may have overmarked or undermarked. Dixon Langoya, a commercial forest farmer in Opok Central Forest Reserve in Gulu District, shares his experience of the practice. You can see this one, if I'm to tell you that this tree is about six and a half years, you wouldn't believe it, okay? But because uh, quite a number of them have been removed, and as you can see, there's enough sunshine, now it is manufacturing more wood. But if we didn't thin this one, this same wood would have been still quite a very small size. Now, if you can look at this one down on the ground, because this is a typical example of the removal. So you can see that increasing from this size here to this size within a very short period of time. And what we want from the forest finally is we want big logs. Because when you have big logs, then you can have very large planks. If you need, say like timber, to make tables, we don't need very many small pieces, but we need these very broad planks. Thinning is a painstaking process that takes years. For instance, a standard acre has about 1,170 trees, and the first thinning can reduce it to about 700. After three years, this number is cut down to 500, and just to 300 in the last thinning. But 300 trees, really big, and that will give you, you know, good money. Here per hectare we have planted 1,111, so we had to reduce it to 800, 750. It is a very painful operation to a grower, to see that something that you planted and you want to make money out of is again, you know, being knocked down at one point in time. But if you understand the objective or the reason as to why we do have to do thinning, then you have to accept it. When all this is done, the fell trees are moved to the roadside by carrying them manually, <laughs> using animals that pull them, or by lifting using a machine called sulky. The fell trees can also be sold in the market. The soil log production ground scheme a government project supported by the European Union and the Norwegian government is working to change the mindset of commercial tree farmers to adopt thinning. Moses Akena, NTV Nature Files.